What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're going to go over my S650, my 2024 Mustang GT Performance Pack, and show you a few things that maybe y'all don't know about. But we are also going to go ahead and tell you just a little bit more about the car um, in detail that maybe I didn't go over on my last video. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick walk around, a cold start, and show you a little bit on the inside, outside, and a few of those little goodies I was talking about. Here we go. So one of the coolest features about this new setup is the single screen. Yes, there is a split here in the center. A lot of people do not like the solid screen, but I do. Features, you've got driver's assist, my Mustang, edit favorite, owner's manual. We'll go ahead and go to my Mustang. And we've got basically the pony screen which you can look down here see this button this will take you to the screen as well so we can do track apps auxiliary gauges custom mode my color and the cluster thing so currently we are in normal we can go ahead and go to quiet and then we'll move it over to sport and then we'll go to track huge difference uh, let's go look into the track apps gauges we've got the acceleration time brake performance lap timer you've also got the drift brake and the line lock feature we'll go back go to auxiliary gauges cool thing about this is you can switch this up just a hair you can go to the settings button and you can switch the gauges Cylinder head temp, axle oil temperature, air to fuel. I've got this on air to fuel, battery voltage, and we're gonna change this over to engine oil temperature. Hit that check mark. Look at that. Very cool, guys. We're back out this screen. Go to cluster theme. So we've got match drive mode so when you're over here and you switch over to your my modes you've got normal sport track drag strip slippery custom back to normal so anytime you have this match drive mode in on this side this will switch this will match that way the cluster gauge does switch over um we're gonna go ahead and switch to normal mode which is where we're already at now. We'll switch over to Sport. It's pretty neat. And we'll switch over to Track. And guys, if you want to go over to Calm, this reminds me of the Mach-E in a way. Not a fan. We'll go ahead and swipe down and select Fox Body. Very cool to bring that retro look back. Guys, I do like the screen. I do keep this on every now and then, but I do like to switch it up and go to drag, which brings it to the track mode. We'll go ahead and exit out of this screen. Show you guys the navigation. Navigation is a hair different from um, what I have in the F-150. 
to me, this is more accurate and um, it's uh, quicker to the touch. Let me see, I've got CarPlay over to the side. So we no longer have AC gauges, AC temperature switches, anything like that down here. All the gauges are right here, here, to the right. So all this is now controlled in to the screen. That is going to be the blower motor, the temperature, or the, excuse me, not the temperature, but the fan speed. Uh, you've got max defrost, rear defrost, AC. Uh, mine is a 400A, so it does come with the uh, heated steering wheel feature, and also it has heated and cooled seats. One thing I hate about these AC seats, I don't know if this is for everybody or if mine is currently messed up, but as you hear this noise, you hear that? That noise is coming from the seat due to the fan that's underneath that sucks in the AC into the seats to help cool the seats. That's how those seats work for the AC and heat. But in my mind, this is very, very loud. So this will be going to the dealership just to confirm that it's actually what it's supposed to sound like. To me, it doesn't sound like it should, but you never know these days. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the trunk and show you a little bit in the engine bay as well. So, as you can tell, the hood vent does look a little bit different. This one is from RTR. I did it go ahead and switch that out. Um, it has taken a little bit of time to get used to, to be honest. I do prefer the paint match, um, but in this RTR edition, this does allow more airflow due to the vents are a little bit bigger. And as you can tell, you can see the pony emblem and the headlight. One of the new coolest features is the factory hood struts. I'm so glad Ford finally did this. Um, you also have dual intake, dual throttle body. What I'm probably going to be doing here soon is taking out the carbon traps with inside these intake tubes and removing the lids to allow more airflow. I've been told that does allow more horsepower. It's about 10, 15 horsepower gain. And as you can tell, the intake manifold cover is smaller and these are now carbon fiber and you can tell with the insert to the 5.0 badge that is also a carbon fiber insert and if nobody else has noticed when you get a certain color the 5.0 badges are uh, painted to match these are a black carbon fiber insert you can see that so if you have grabber blue or even the bronze appearance package. The bronze appearance package comes with the bronze wheels and the bronze inserts on the badges. And coming around to the back, they do the same thing. Cool, another cool feature, if y'all didn't know this, with the GT emblem, it also says performance on the inside, and this is a carbon fiber as well. And another cool thing, if y'all did not notice, uh, the GT is very similar to the GTD emblem. So another really cool feature is used to on the S550s, you could take this piece out when you're removing the taillights and swap it over. But bam, look at that S650 etched in to this trim piece for the taillights. It is only on one side. This one's blank on the driver's side. The passenger side does have an S650 etched in to the trim piece on top of the taillight, which is pretty freaking cool, guys. 
here. Pretty basic, pretty big for a Mustang. And bam, this is part of the BNO audio system. They used to come with an eight inch sub. Now they come with a 10 inch sub, which is pretty neat. Good job for it on that, about time. And if nobody ever noticed this, right here, you've got all the generation Mustangs etched into the back glass. Get a better picture for you guys. Well, there you go. It's pretty neat. Good job Ford on all these little hidden gems on these cars that they have done. You got the pony logo down here. When it used to be up here, and now you got the Ford logo up top. And you got the pony logo down here. And, you know, I should have never have bought this vehicle. One, because it's a Ford. No, I'm just teasing. I'm glad I bought this vehicle. This vehicle has been my most favorite Mustang I have owned, driven, and I cannot wait to show you more. And I cannot wait to get this built and start racing this thing at the drag strip. I can't wait to start showing you guys all the numbers from start to finish make sure to hit that notification bell once again guys that is going to go ahead and wrap this video up for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have not please subscribe and hit that notification bell please like share if you have not and we'll see you on the next one